looking at XRP versus BTC, I mean, it looks pretty good. We have the two week chart, right? We have a cup and we have a handle right here. We also have a shoulder, head, and a shoulder. Inverse head and shoulders. And within the right shoulder, we have a shoulder, head, and then the right shoulder. So, I don't know. It looks pretty bullish to me, right? And then within the right shoulder as well, like I said, we have a cup and a handle. And then also to that, we have a break of structure. We broke out of this long-term descending channel, which is a very bullish thing. We've been in this channel for, let's see, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, almost six years we're going on. So it's been a long time. And the brilliant thing about this is, you know, we had consolidation and we had an impulse to the upside, a sharp impulse to the upside. And what's happening now, right, what's happening now is after this sharp impulse to the upside we're having a three wave pullback so one two three one two three right we have a three-way pullback and now we have an impulse to the upside and what we're doing now is we're consolidating at the top of the resistance so this is a bullish thing and in this consolidation, like I said earlier, we have an inverse head and shoulders. We have a cup and handle. So a lot of things are pointing that we will break above this resistance. That's what I see. And as far as XRP versus USD, we need to see some price action. Now with that particular chart, I'm looking at a symmetrical triangle. So here's the symmetrical triangle and how it can relate to the previous chart I just shared. And also this symmetrical triangle looks exactly like how Bitcoin did in 2018 and 2019, right before it blasted off from 20K all the way up to almost 70K. So we have an A, we have a B, we have a C, and then right here was this green candle right here was the SEC lawsuit, right? Not a security. That was D, right? John Deaton, just remember that. D for Deaton, SEC lawsuit. Now where are we in? We're in E. And what's the last one? E. Each one needs to have three waves. So what do we have? Let's see. We have one two three one two three and remember as the converging trend lines in this triangle get tighter and tighter that means the waves get smaller and smaller one two three and then one two three now this is the most important part we just had three now in e we need three more we need three more so we just got our first one right one now we want to come we want to see it come up for two then come down for three so it'd be a three wave move and that would confirm e and then that's when you get the mega moon launch out of this triangle so looking at it from that perspective that is a completed triangle so i would say by what maybe the end of the year maybe a little less than that it really depends it really depends how things unfold so for example, this is the Bitcoin chart. This is Bitcoin symmetrical triangle. We had an A, B, C, D, E, and then we what did we do? We blasted off, okay. Now here's the XRP triangle. We're currently in the last phase. So here's one, there's XRP, and there's Bitcoin. Look how very similar they look. This is why I'm still continuing to be bullish on XRP. And when you look at XRP versus BTC, we want to see some type of three-way move in here. So let's see if we could. So here's the chart I had uh, similar. Remember, we're in this descending channel, which is a bullish thing. And what did we do? 
we broke out. We broke out right here. This was the breakout of this descending channel. And then we came down here, right here, and we back tested that channel. Okay, let me take everything off the screen. What I had in XRP, that triangle, I was looking for what? A three wave move. So something like this, where we come here, have one more three wave move, and that's when we can get that explosive move. So that's what we're looking for. And then how would that look from the from the descending channel point of view? It would look just like this, right? We have a break of structure above the channel and now we're consolidating above this area here, which is above the channel. But what we really wanna see is a break above that. So basically, this has been our range for a very long time. We've been going sideways for quite some time. So what's happening is we're building a base, building a base, building a base, building a base. And you notice as we're doing this, we're cupping up, we're cupping up, we're cupping up, we're cupping up. So it's a bunch of cups. So I want to see one more cup, which would resemble the last E wave in the triangle I just shared and then we get that explosive move to the upside but of course we're going to come most likely come back down to back test the breakout area this is the major major area for xrp versus btc we want to come and back test this area before the mega 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 moon launch so that's xrp versus btc and this is the big boy xrp versus usd so it looks pretty similar and then also you can even actually before i end the video you can actually draw a channel here right just like i did with bitcoin and pull it down here but with this we did not break the channel yet right we did not so the biggest thing is 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 this is the biggest pivotal point so let me just screenshot this so we have an A, B, C, D, E, and the objective is to go to the moon, right? The, the only issue is if we break below this bottom half of the triangle. So here's our triangle. I want to make sure you see the triangle, right? That's the triangle, and that's what we're coiling up in. If we break below the triangle, we're probably going to head back down to the bottom of this base channel here. So this is the... We do it a different color. This is the bottom of this base channel. We do not want that or it'd be another brutal, brutal area. So we would break down and then of course we would moon. But what we really want to see is price having a little bit more consolidation, finish up E and then break out, back test the uh, downward resist line uh, the top of the triangle and then blast off right so that's the idea that's what we want to see happen so let's see as it further develops the wave right in here so this wave in here right this wave in here is going to be critical it's going to be very critical so we had the first move down we need it to hold support above here. Then we want to come up and retrace a little bit. And then one more final wave. Because everything moves in three. One, two, three. Right? Everything moves in threes. So this is the third wave down. Right here. We want to hold support. And then blast off to the freaking moon. And get this thing on the road. So. And. That would be around. I would say 44 cents. We don't want to break below 40 cents. We want to stay in this uptrend. This is our, the trend is your friend, right? The, tr the trend is your friend. So this trend line right here is what we need to hold. That is, cru that is critical, right? We've been holding it since Corona. We had the SEC dump and notice how this three-wave move with the SEC dump is the same kind of three-wave move with the SEC dump. 
It's, it's similar. This move and this dump here are similar. But then what happened after this? We went to the upside. So what we want to see? Upside. So let's see. Let's see what happens.